so welcome to part one of the series in the how to create your own indicators on the export advisors playlist so for you to better understand this video it's, it's advisable that you first start by watching this video in this playlist which is the first one okay from there now we can come back and watch this video so in this video i'm going to talk about the mt5 for that structure so as i said earlier on in this first video is that we're going to be working with metadata 5 but before i can show you how you can create your own indicators and export advisors it is good that we first understand what we are going to be working with so in this video we're going to talk about metadata 5 and the stuff we don't usually see while using metadata 5 okay so let's get started so what i would like you to do is first of all open your files okay so the other thing you need to do is simply go to the drive c so my computer is actually a 64 bit system so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on program files and i'm going to open the derive folder so derive is the name of the metadata file i'm using if we'd like to create an account in the roof, the link will be in the description. So simply open the derive folder and you are going to see these files here. So now I'm going to explain everything you're currently seeing here. Okay, so that you can get to understand them. So let me start with the uninstall.exe. So when I double click on this one, it will help me uninstall MetaTrader 5. For now, we do not want to uninstall, so we won't do anything. Then the terminal 64 is actually metadata 5 which is the roof. So when I double click and open it, this is what happens. It actually opens up metadata 5. Okay. And then terminal.ico, this is just an icon, more like a logo. It's the one you're currently seeing in the icons below over here. Then now the meta tester just a tool which is part of meta trader 5 the one which you can actually use to test your indicators or export advisors and the most important one we're going to be working with is the meta editor 64.exe so this is a code editor or a text editor we're going to be using to write code which is mql5 which is short for meta codes programming language so when I double click on it, okay, it actually opens up the editor and you can get to see the code. Okay, so we are done with the most important one. So let's start with the basis. So what's in this folder? Okay, so when you double click on it, you're going to see a new folder called default. Okay, so what's the default folder? This one is the folder of the platform database. From here there will be history so in history folder this it stores history data for financial instruments okay then in mail it actually a folder which stores all emails received or sent through the platform so as further on i'm going to show you how you can get an indicator which can send signals via email and you can actually see the emails sent and stored in this folder okay and in the symbols you're actually going to see the uh, database of uh, symbols currently selected in the market watch for example for current spares and so on okay then if i go back there is the config so in the config there are two files there's the servers dot d80 and the terminal dot lic so what are these two files and what do they do so the server of that is actually stores the settings for the connection and the terminal dot ion it contains platform interface settings and last used values okay such as for window positioning attach indicators and so on for now these are, are less important but it's just good to know them what they are then now what's in profiles so in profiles you're going to see three folders Templates, for example, if you save your chart color settings and so on, you can actually save that as a template for you to use later. Symbol sets, I'm sure you know what these and the charts and so on. So I won't explain these, these are probably you know them. The in the sounds, so if you've got an indicator 
which shows notification of a new signal these are the sounds okay so let me try to play this sound okay so these are the sounds matter trade usually sends when something gets triggered okay then in the tester as you can read by the word it's actually a tool which comes with metal data file for testing indicators and export advisors and so on okay so now now that i've explained what these files are let's now go to the last part which is the meta code file structure so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the terminal or simply i'm going to open metal trader 5 so when you open metatrader 5 i'm going to click on file and i'm going to open the data folder okay so this is the data folder so as you can see it's in in the c drive in the users keith and it's in app data roaming metacodes terminal they now the folder where this data is so i already explained about the basis the config profiles and tester but the most one you're going to be working with is actually this one which is mql5 so when you open this folder you're actually going to see all these files so in the expert that is where you actually place the expert advisors the robots in the files so in the expert that is where you actually put the robots and stuff robots in the same folder then in the files so in the files that's where you can find like some indicators might put in some files there even some export advisors images of course you're going to find some icons and stuff like that okay and in the include so i want to talk more about what this what actually this is in the next videos so for now i'm going to skip then in the indicators probably you already know this that is that is where you actually place your custom indicators you can as well find the pre-installed indicators which come with the metadata 5 when you install it the libraries i'm going to skip this you're going to learn more in what these are in the future videos then the logs okay this is where i find like as well i'm going to show you more in the next videos presets i think i already talked about this profiles i already talked about this yeah and the scripts I'm, I'm also going to talk about the scripts in the later videos so this video is actually gone far so this is it about today's video if you learned something from it give it a like for more videos like this go on and subscribe so the link to this playlist will be in the description